Michael Veach. Welcome to Sunday Arts. And so to some more original Australian work. A vast uncatalogued collection of police photographs from the 20th century has been the inspiration behind a series of Sydney art projects known as Life After Wartime. Now in Bystander, artists Ross Gibson and Kate Richards have utilised those crime scene images from the 1940s to develop a unique interactive environment where the presence of the audience itself determines the nature of the experience. Bystander is an immersive video installation. It comprises five screens uh, set in a pentagon framework and the audience enters inside the work and they're then surrounded by um, a spirit world of photos, texts and sound. The experience of the world of Bystander, it's, it's a dark world. It's a world where people's lives have changed, where people reach for too much, where people engage in evil activities. So it's, it's, it's a world that looks at the, at the darker side of human activity in our cities. When the audience enters the space, the first thing they'll be aware of is a particle animation which moves around the space all the time. Particle animation is being generated in real time by the computer. Because we're not being very attentive and quiet, it's only revealing a very bare narrative backbone. We're not getting pictures. And this is designed to encourage the audience to actually be quiet and be still, and then they'll get more images and they'll get more text. What we, we've done is we've selected out of the several tens of thousands of pictures that are in the Justice and Police collection, we've selected a couple of thousand, maybe 3,000 pictures that in our minds constitute a world, and it's a world from about 1945 to 1960. I've just gone into the archive and immersed myself in it and, and picked out pictures that have something in them. And there's one particular one early in the search. It's this room in Marrickville in an old boarding house in the early 1950s, and it's assault with grievous bodily harm. One of the dolls is looking out of the window, and coming through the window is this breeze that's pushing the curtains forward. You can't help but think of all sorts of stories to account for how this room is like this, who lives there, what events went in there. We don't actually know the full backstory to each of the crimes. All that information was lost when the photos were shifted around. What Ross and I have done is, has capitalised on this lack of information and we've written fictional texts and developed fictional characters and locations within Sydney that enable us to explore the work in a more poetic and lyrical way. There's a 45 minute cycle where there, there is a kind of march of a story, but the way it plays out at any one moment is quite specific to how people are behaving. This is the Bystander hardware software system, and you can see that there are some visitors in the space and the system is picking them up, and based on their movements and their mass, it will then uh, communicate to the display how to behave. Each image has a number of metadata tags around it and the tags enable us to connect the images to some of the narrative texts and connect the images to each other and connect the images to the state of the bystander world. I can adjust the size of the image, the speed at which they come in and out, the number of images, how the flock is behaving, all those sorts of things. This enables me to make aesthetic and temporal decisions in the space and adjust the look and the feel of the artworks. It was a very, very trippy experience. Uh, kind of confining. I felt like I was 
uh, stuck inside something. I did feel almost like it was following me, that there's a sense of something or someone in the room with you. It was dark, it was scary. It um, reminded me that as much as we tell each other and ourselves that everything is okay, that it's maybe not okay. For me, I'm hoping that people get the sense of the power of ordinary places without being sanctimonious about it, but that, that there's a power in everyday experience that it's worth bringing to mind every now and then. <laughs> Bystander continues at Sydney's performance space until September the 9th.